Hey guys, uh, what I wanted to do today was talk to you about the differences between a web server and application server. So, what are the differences between a web server and an application server? Alright, so let's first talk about web servers. Web servers process HTTP requests by responding with HTML pages. So basically, when you're dealing with servers like this, um, these type of servers actually only deal with static content such as HTML images or any other form of static content another thing to take note of is that there's no server-side programming which basically means that the content that's going to be returned on your end is pretty much just going to be a user and in user interface type content um, another thing is that when I say no server-side programming that pretty much means that there's going to be no business logic associated with the application that you're running and another thing is that there are no databases or dynamically generated content which pretty much is also a part of server-side programming now below what I have here are just a couple of types of web servers um, you may be familiar with some of these um, the Apache HTTP server by Apache Internet Information Services by Microsoft or the Sun Java system web server so these are some of the web servers that are out there right now and that's pretty much what a web server is and I'm gonna explain this a little bit more clear with a picture now alright so this is how web servers work so imagine yourself on the computer you're the client you go to your web browser open it up and then you type in a URL or an address now, after you type in the address, you press enter. Once you press enter, there's going to be requests sent to this web server through the internet. The web server is then going to process your request, your HTTP request, and then send back a response to the client. And then the content is going to be displayed in your browser. And that's pretty much how it works. Um, as I said before, when it comes to web servers, it only serves static content. So the website that you're trying to access is pretty much just going to be a user interface that you can interact with, but there won't be any core functionality behind that. Okay. What I want to talk about now are application servers. Now, application servers are basically servers that serve business logic to application programs. Um, and what that means is that whenever you make a request in a web-based application, basically, basically there's going to be some information sent to the back end of that application in order to be processed. Another thing is that application servers, they handle all application operations between users and an organization's back-end business application or database. Um, it's pretty much, you know, what I stated before, but I mean, this pretty much means that whenever you're working with an application that uses an application server, it's going to some type of way tie in with the underlying logical structure of this web-based application. Another thing is that they can help you deploy applications. That pretty much just means make your application available online. Now, what I have here next are the different parts of an application server. Um, I didn't want to go too much into it. I just wanted to mention this to you guys to give you an understanding of what this application is made out of, made up of. Um, they pretty much consist of a web container, application client, as well as an EJB container, all these things work together in order to process that, um, well, in order to allow the user to interact with that back-end type of information. And the last thing I want to mention are the different types of application servers. Um, Apache Tomcat, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably familiar with, especially if you've worked with web applications or worked with business um, yeah, business web type applications. Another one is JBoss, WebLogic, as well as WebSphere. Now, here's a picture that tries to explain how application servers work.
So imagine you're on your computer, you go to your browser, you type in the URL, and you make a request. That request is going to be sent to this application server. This application server is going to interact with a servlet of some sort, and pretty much from that servlet, there may be some more code on the back end that the servlet interacts with in order to process a certain piece of information. It may consist of logical information within the application itself, or it may reference a database, which is what I have here, in order to um, gather the information that it needs to respond back to the client with. So after it processes the information in this application server, there's going to be an HTTP response that is going to be sent back to this client and basically that's how the user is going to be presented with information and another note I wanted to um, another thing I wanted to know was that some application servers also contain web servers um, and that is ideal when you're working with a very large or um, a very complex web based application um, so basic so, so basically what I'm saying is that if you're only dealing with an application server um, these servers are pretty much made to interact with other applications if it's just purely an application server but there are some application servers that also contain web servers which allow you to perform both actions pretty much um, respond with static content or respond with some type of logical content as well as the static content and I hope that makes sense alright now if you guys have any questions about web servers or application servers please leave them in the comments below don't forget to like the video and thanks for watching